are at the uh, Things from Another World booth at Emerald City Comic Con. I'm here with two of the creators from um, IDW Publishing's Memorial, Chris Robertson and Rich Ellis. Uh, how are you enjoying the con so far? I'm having a miserable time. <laughs> yeah, it's been like the worst show ever. No, no, it's been great. Emerald it's City is one of my two favorite conventions. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. Mm -hmm. my, my number one. Really? So, yeah. You don't like the other one? Okay, never mind. Yeah. Fun. Well, well, the premise of Memorial, it's, it's extremely creative, but it's almost hard to, to crystallize into a couple of sentences. I figured if anyone's able to, you are, so... I will do my best. The short, short version is, uh, Girl With No Memory inherits Magic Wandering Store, like you might uh, find a gremlin mm -hmm. or a Magic Monkey's Paw. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the, it leads her to a, a world where time is geography, mm -hmm. and the past and the future are places you can just travel to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, hilarity ensues. And there's a talking cat. <laughs> yeah, Schrodinger's cat, which I particularly uh, appreciated. Uh, Rich, how did you get involved with the project? Uh, I got in the project through a mutual friend of ours, Paul Tobin. The IP was one that Chris had been working on how long? For like eight years. Eight years. Had yeah. been brewing in, in the brain. And uh, there were some talks with IDW. And then mm -hmm. uh, Chris got a hold of Paul because he knew Paul hung out with a whole bunch of artists like myself at Periscope and a bunch of other people. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, that's how Chris got in contact with me. He sent me the pitch, and I went gangbuster, crazy go nuts on it. Yeah, I think so. I called up Paul, got your name, mm -hmm. and I think your name was on a contract from IDW within 24 hours, maybe 36 at that point. Yeah, not very long. Yeah, okay. so. it, it okay. was it was very quick. Yeah. Nice. So now you're fast friends, so much so that now you're moving to Portland to be closer to Rich, is that right? Yeah, I'm going to move into his place, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're sure, he's actually living on my couch right yeah. now. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, with, Perfect. Yeah. So tell us more about the setting for, for Everland. Now, it kind of sounds, of course, like Neverland, and there's even a guy with a hook running around, so... Uh, <laughs> I'm Captain Obvious. Uh, so, yeah, can you tell us some about your influences and how it's yeah. all fit together? So the. At its, at its base, um, it's about the kinds of stories, um, let me see, I don't want to give too much away. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it plays with uh, uh, kind of the, the classical fantasy stories for kids, mm -hmm. but kind of, I'm trying, we're trying to get at what's underneath those or what mm -hmm. they're really about. Mm -hmm. And so, it's not a, um, it's not like Fables or League of Extraordinary Gentlemen or something like that, where these are the little people from those things. This is the, these are the real people that inspired those stories, okay. kind of. Okay. And so um, we have a guy running around named Robin who wears a hood and has a bow and arrow, but he's not exactly Robin Hood. He's, he's the real guy that history has forgotten that's now the source of that yep. legend. Okay, okay. And uh, the guy with the hook and a guy named Peter who's now an old man, which is weird, uh, and a shadow that runs around might have inspired another story that had similar people in it. Exactly, exactly. So is this about how people forget their origins? I mean, is this kind of how things get appropriated and kind of papered over, or...? It's, in my head, it's about the weird intersection between, uh, like, memory, magic, and myth, and, and the yeah. ways in which, um, yeah, that, okay. that thing. Yeah. For creating the visual world, like, what, what were your focuses? Like, how did you bring this to life in kind of a coherent way that you could actually draw it? Uh, there's actually been a bunch of challenges with it. The the thing with Memorial is that there's five, six so far uh, locations. distinct uh, locations that all feel very different and all are pulling from different sources. So, uh, like with the Everlands, for, for Chris, I know that we were thinking... Uh, was it Grecian Islands? Like, yeah, like an archipelago. For, yeah, an archipelago with just a patchwork of everything possible in history as moment has... Sort Which of. I didn't realize till last year. It's the archipelago of lost years from uh, uh, Rudolph Shining New Year. <laughs> Literally, because that's a, a, an archipelago made up of where well, the islands are different years. Oh my goodness. With with all these like legendary characters on it. That uh, apparently that I, was just I've, in the back of my head. I've had yeah. Uh, uh, I've had some moments like that. Uh, like when I was designing Peter, and the the ultimate final thing for Peter um, ended up without me even intending to. Uh, I, looking a lot like the Wizard of Oz, mm -hmm. like the yeah, actual yeah, yeah. Wizard of Oz, yeah, yeah. completely uh, outside of my intention. Um, but there's just a lot of happenstance and things like yeah. that. So whenever Chris gives me a 
objective to accomplish, uh, like in the Everlands. I always just try and pull from different sources and make everything work and be different enough that it all has a, the, the feel that it should. My scripts include a lot of apologies <laughs> to him and, and, and Grace Allison, the colorist. Be like, you know, yeah. I'm, not, I'm sorry, but this is this crazy thing I need you to draw. There's a castle on the edge of a waterfall, and the water turns into stars in the sky, yes. and everything is made out of shadows. So go. Yeah, yeah. go from there. Yeah. Great. But it works. Yeah, obviously. Well, at the end of the six uh, issue miniseries, are we going to know everything about M? Is she going to know everything about M? Many questions will be answered, a few more will be raised, mm -hmm. and we are doing more memorial stories after this. So, Absolutely. That's yeah. great. Well, is there anything else coming up that you guys want to talk about? I don't know. I'm trying to think. No, nah, we'll stick with that one for now. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very much. <laughs>